Are you ready to get your flow on? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you up and running with your new M5 as fast as possible. In addition to what came in the box, you're gonna to need to grab a hacksaw or a ratcheting PVC cutter, Phillips head screwdriver, and your wet dry vac. Don't worry about compatibility, virtually everything works with the M5. All right, step one, grab your four casters, your caster wrench, and your M5, and find a workbench because working at eye level is gonna be so much easier than working on the floor. You're going to thread each caster into the insert nut and take care at the end when you tighten with the caster wrench to not over tighten, just snug. Next, let's attach the clear lid to the dump bin base. It's perfectly fine where it is right now for normal operation, but a quick quarter turn locks it in place for even the bumpiest of rides. Now it's time to prep your vac. Take one of the two included hose adapters that came with your M5, they're exactly the same, doesn't matter which one, and insert it into the vac. You'll want to seat this firmly all the way in because it's going to stay locked in place. Now let's tee it up. Take the tee included with the M5 package, noting the orientation sticker with the up pointing up, and insert it fully into the adapter. Tighten down the thumb screw just until it's snug. No need to over tighten here. And now for the fun part. Find a nice level flat surface and bring your vac and your M5 up close to each other where the pipe and the T are right next to each other. Take your PVC cut sticker and align the arrow on the align of the PVC cut sticker with the arrow on the T sticker taking care to put this on very straight because you're going to be cutting pipe here in your next steps. Now let's remove the PVC pipe from the M5 by backing out the three and a half inch bolt from the hitch. Lay the PVC pipe out horizontally and make straight cuts on the dashed lines of the PVC cut sticker. Clean any shavings from the pipe. Finally, remove any stickers left over on the pipe after cutting. Now let's assemble the PVC pipe to the M5. With the M5 laying on its front face, take the top pipe and insert it fully into the coupling. Then remove the T from the VAC adapter and put it again with the orientation sticker up onto that top pipe. Finally, take the bottom support pipe with the through hole Run it up through the bottom of the hitch and into that T until it's fully seated. Insert the bolt through the hitch and the two holes in the support pipe. Tighten with the included hex wrench. Now for the moment of truth. Bring the M5 with the pipe installed up next to the vac. Roll them together and check fit. If all four casters of the M5 and the vac are hitting the ground, you're in great shape. If not, you may need to remove that T from the vac and adjust the pipe up and down until there's a nice flat fit as they come together. If everything looks good, tighten down the thumb screw on the adapter. Again, don't over tighten. If the T and the vac still don't line up after adjusting, you may have cut the pipe too short, but that's okay. You can run to the local hardware or home center store to pick up a replacement inch and a half PVC pipe or order one from us at mullettools.com. Now take the second hose adapter included with the M5 kit and install it on the inlet of the M5 Cyclone. Push on tight to ensure you've got a nice secure fit. And for a more secure connection, take one of the self-drilling screws included with the M5 kit and install it with your Phillips head screwdriver. Take your vac hose and install it in the hose adapter. Tighten down the thumb screw. Now, let's eat some dust. <laughs> when it's time for a dump, remove the vac hose and disconnect the M5 from the vac by loosening the adapter thumb screws. 
Remove the clear lid by turning it 90 degrees. Before you reattach, clean the neck area of the duct bin and ensure the O-ring on the lid is clean as well. Now this whole process should take you about 20 minutes or a single beer.